Everybody, this is uh, Mount Vernon Kid coming to you again. Uh, how's everybody doing out there? Okay, well, um, the five-part mini-series of Transformers Prime has officially f- completed. Uh, we will have to wait till February 20th for the rest of the season to uh, air. But I'm going to give you my review on the... F- last two parts of the series i know i was supposed to do it yesterday but i i just was extremely tired so i didn't get to put up the reviews of the local cartoons that i was watching uh friday so um i'm gonna do both part four and five so uh like i said before five part four of transformers prime this episode was really action-packed um very much action-packed it left off right where episode part three left off where Megatron had uh, uh, basically ro- uh, rose dead Cybertronians back to life. And it was Optimus and Ratchet out there. And they pretty much was battling these undead Cybertronians thanks to the dark uh, Energon that Megatron w- can has possessed. Uh, but also on the other side... On the flip side, we had uh, Agent Fowler was kidnapped by the Decepticons and Bulkhead and the rest had to go in and save him because he was being tortured by Starscream. Starscream wanted to know the uh, the location of where the Autobots were. Uh, so he, I got to give it to Agent Fowler. He was putting up with a lot of torture that Starscream was giving him, but... All in all, this was a great action-packed episode, especially when Bulkhead and RC and uh, Bumblebee got inside of the, the Decepticon ship, and they were just taking out all the the Terracons or the drones. Uh, it was it was very action-packed. Uh, and on the flip side, you had Optimus and Ratchet doing their thing, just trying to handle themselves against these dead Cybertronian. Uh, and we also see that while Optimus and them are shooting, you know, he's he's laying them down, just pop, pop. It's not really working. So Ratchet says, you know what, let me try something. He pulls out his blades and he starts cutting them off and he starts seeing that decapitation is the way to cease these guys from coming back. So Optimus pulls out his uh, sword blades and they just go to work cutting these guys down. Uh and but on the meantime we have uh inside of the the base uh the gang rc and the rest of the gang are basically plowing through the the terracons trying to get to fowler they finally do and starscreen is like if you don't i'll shoot agent fowler and the thing was uh Starscream was pretty much led into a trap because RC was hanging from the above of the ceiling, just pointing pointing her her beams at him. So he he ran away. Uh, he turned into his jet and it blasted out of there real quick. Uh, but uh, even in the meantime, we also the kids Jack and Raph and and Miko, they took pictures of schematics of what. Megatron was planning to do and I'm going to get more into that later um, so when they finished uh, rescuing Fowler and took him back to their base we, we turned back over to Megatron and Optimus and them still fighting off this army and you can see like Optimus and Ratchet are like they're getting tired they're like our energy is depleting we can't, we can't take no more but you no know, they wouldn't quit. Optimus wouldn't quit. Uh, he even climbed up all the way to Megatron 
where Megatron was, and he was going to have it out with him, but uh, Megatron flew away, and they pretty much defeated the uh, the undead Cybertronians and went back to base. Uh, from there, back in the base, uh, Jack is telling Miko, basically, you know, you can't be doing this, you know, you're running off, you know, stop being a hothead, stop trying to join in with bulkhead and everything like that uh while well, then jack is saying like look if this is an average day for the autobots then i don't want no part of this and optimus tells jack like our our purpose was never to get you involved in this so pretty much uh jack leaves they, they open a uh open a space gate and uh he jack goes through it, it was really quick because ratchet like I said before, Ratchet is kind of a little biased or racist when it comes to the humans. And uh, he pretty much opens the space gate just like that. And says, oh, no, time is short. Go ahead. And goes right through and pretty much Jack goes pretty much goes back to his normal life. But you can also see that RC is a little bit, uh, you know, she's going to miss him. She, she, you see, like their chemistry is getting stronger, and from there we we go back. We see Jack in his garage working on his bike, uh, uh, and uh, Miko comes in and tells him a little bit about his life. We also get to know where this Transformer series takes place. It takes place in a city known as Jasper, Nevada. So uh, we get to know okay where the location is. Where where is this taking place? Um, and Miko talks about how she was privileged in Japan. She had this, she had that. And Jack is saying, that was nice. That's really... And she was like, no, it was boring. And she's still saying, like, look... Jack says, look, uh, no matter what, I, I don't want that. And, and the best thing about this was, like, it had a mixture. It had uh, some time with the humans and then pretty much... It went back to who the, the real stars of the show was. And that that's something I like. Something that the movies failed on. Um, so, so pretty much we find out that the schematics was actually a space bridge. A huge space bridge that Megatron was going to open. And he was going to launch a huge, a huge uh, deposit of dark energon to Cybertron and wake up all... The, the dead Cybertronians that are that were left on Cybertron after the Great War, uh, and that was the big thing planned. So we go into Episode Five from there, and the Autobots are trying to figure out how are we going to get up there. Um, and. Uh, We pretty much find that uh, the Autobots, they can't fly. They can't do it. So they have to just make up space portal, space bridge, and just head out into space. And that's what happens. They head out into space. And um, they battle Megatron and his... They block the, the portal. While the kids actually head to Texas to confuse the giant satellites they have out there to make sure that uh the bridge the portal doesn't open up that Megatron uses. Uh while in space the, the Autobots are R C Bumblebee, Bulkhead and uh Optimus are taking out the Terracons again. And the funniest part I think was the funniest is where Ratchet says, Optimus, if you leave me on a planet full of humans i'll never forgive you and i'm like wow like oh my god ratchet so they made the decision that the only way to stop this is to destroy the space bridge so they can't return home to cybertron uh however soundwave is also there where the kids are and he is able to complete his mission and open a space portal to Cybertron space bridge and Megatron throws a huge deposit of dark energon into the portal and pretty much awakens all the dead Cybertronians that are left on Cybertron and you see them coming through the portal all of them like 
it was just like a whole wave of them. Uh, but one thing I was hoping that we were going to see a pretty decent fight between Megatron and Optimus. And we got that. We got to see that in this episode in part five. We got to see a pretty decent fight. It was very good. It was just like old times watching them go at it. Um, nobody had really the upper hand. And that's something they were pretty much evenly matched. Uh, and uh, we got to see that. Um, unfortunately, uh, the Decepticons didn't complete their mission. None of the dead Cybertronians were able to get through uh, because they exploded the space bridge. And uh, they open, Ratchet opens up another space bridge and sends and Optimus and the rest of them jump through to get back home. Uh, in the end, RC is badly hurt, but she's okay when she gets back. And uh, Jack and her really connect together more. And um, in the end, uh, Agent Fowler says thanks, you know, for saving his life, everything like that. They... They believe Megatron is destroyed, but we also see that uh, Starscreen and the rest are saying, "Long live Op uh, Megatron!" And uh, on, uh, but as well as him smiling as saying, "Like I'm the leader now of the Decepticons." Uh, to say Megatron is destroyed, don't I don't bet on it, people. Um, but in the end, uh, pretty much Optimus gave his pretty much famous speech. He's done in the la the last the movies where he talks. He's saying like this and that. He basically says if you if anyone threatens this world, our home, prepare for basically we to defend it. Um, and it ends. It pretty much ended right there. You see them driving in the sunset. Uh, all in all, it was a good five part uh, miniseries. Uh, I'm gonna look forward to February. 20th to see where the rest of the the rest of the season start uh continues um it was very good i really enjoyed it um and you guys tell me what you thought about it and uh and if you haven't seen it it's going to be airing all this weekend on the hub but other than that you know this is mom vernon kid saying peace stay tuned keep it real and i'll be right back with the review for this week's gi joe renegades